Welcome back everyone. Strong Sweet Caroline here and today we're talking about the most commonly used anabolic androgenic steroid in females. Number 56, Caroline Divasquita. Now, before I get started, just want to remind you I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical physician or professional, so always consult one of them when you're considering adding in substances. And remember, some of these products are illegal, but others may not be. So be smart about anything you are putting into your body or considering purchasing. Now, what is the most commonly used product and considered the safest product for women? Anivar, oxandrolone. So it was actually notated the girl steroid because it is so commonly used in women. Now, they say that it's the most safe from a breakdown standpoint of how it goes into the body. It is very common for women to use in bodybuilding as well as just general wanting to gain muscle, get a little bit of leaner, hardening effect of your physique. However, we just need to keep in mind that this product is high on the androgenic scale. So if you are naturally a female that has high androgen conversions, there could be some risks of side effects. So just keep in mind, especially if you have the tendency to lead towards estrogen dominance or your client leads towards estrogen dominance, you probably aren't gonna to wanna to put a lot of, andro of Anivar into her plan. And if you are, you're gonna to have to be very mindful and aware of the possible side effects, which I will get into. So I talked about Anivar a lot in my course, Feminine Health Enhanced. If you missed the class, I'm no longer teaching it, but we'd be glad to sell you the full video recording and the PDF PowerPoint slides. Just send me an email and be glad to get those to you. But when it comes to Anivar, it is promoted a lot in fitness as something you want to use in off season or on season because it can help build muscle pretty quickly and it can help with getting a little bit leaner, harder, making your abs pop a little bit more. The one thing to keep in mind is a lot of coaches think that you need to increase the amount of Anivar that you use time over time. So say you run one cycle, most cycles you're gonna be running from what I know, five milligrams up to 10 milligrams. I hear 25 milligrams sometimes for women for a six to eight week cycle. The half-life of a pill is about 12 hours, so you don't necessarily have to do split dosages, but you can. But the thing with it is, is it's 10 times stronger in a woman than a man. So you just need to be really smart because if you're using a five milligram dosage, that's the same effect as a 50 milligram dosage in a male. And we know that if it's high androgenic, which can lead to building muscle tissue, getting stronger, improving your performance, great. But there's also risks of side effects. So what does that look like? You know, deepening of the voice, facial hair, hair loss, increased sex drive, which can be good or bad depending on the person. You can have issues with acne and breakouts. And then there's some things that are more severe, like changes to your feminine um, parts and looking more, um, some changes to your feminine parts increasing in size. So there's a lot of risks. There are some benefits. And like I said, it's considered safe for most people. They did use it in young children when it first came out but you just need to be really cautious because even one woman doing one cycle of Anivar taking time off and then doing another cycle if her voice starts to crack that's a sign of virilization and so once you start to virilize if you don't correct it right away it can be permanent damage so when it comes to um, just using enhancing substances we know that's a big risk but we also know what the rewards can be. A lot of women on stage today will use a baseline with Anivar to get that hardened look, especially during prep. 
you can use in the off season as well, running short stints of it to help improve muscle growth during a maintenance or a surplus in calories too. But at the end of the day, you need to know what's best for you and your body. There are some other SARMs or peptides that are on a similar wavelength, but you just need to be mindful of that because sometimes if we aren't paying attention and understanding our body, knowing what's going on, that's where we can have negative side effects. So I hope this was helpful for you. It's a pretty generic overview of Anavar, but like I said, if you've got specific questions or things that you're concerned about in your health and fitness goals, I do consults on labs and specific questions on performance enhancement. So feel free to send me an email. I'd be glad to help you out and continue to pursue those health and fitness goals. Just never uh, sacrifice what you want versus what someone else is trying to do for you.